Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for March 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aquarius. And it is a general reading, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you'd like, you can book a personal reading with me to get more specific details for your situation. Or you can watch one of your other signs. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what is going on with you. First half of March, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And please do keep in mind that the rules can be reversed for general readings. All right, so starting off the reading, we have the moon. All right, <clears throat> so that's Pisces energy. Crossed by the Queen of Cups. Okay, so yeah, lots of water. Some of you might be dealing with a water sign. A Pisces more specifically it doesn't have to be though. Um, okay, what's going on here, Aquarius? Somebody here is not feeling very well. Not feeling very well emotionally. I'm actually getting a lot of emotional energy. And it's not really... Happy. It feels like there's a lot of confusion, which is creating a lot of emotional energy here. Let's see. Uh, for your energy, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles. All right. A lot of groundedness here for you. Um, this is a lot of Earth energy. It's not necessarily all that positive, though. It kind of is and kind of isn't. I feel like you're feeling some kind of a loss here. Feeling possibly even rejected or that you've lost something. Either this person or something within this connection. I do see you trying to put yourself in a position where you can open up another path. For you, I feel like you're doing whatever whatever it is that you can do, um, considering the circumstances, in order to take care of yourself. But there's still this essence of being at a loss. Like you know, you don't want to move in this direction, but feeling like, well, you know, that's kind of, I don't really have another option here. Let's see. For them, we have the Page of Swords, the Hermit, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you might also be dealing with a Virgo. This is interesting because I feel like this is someone who is definitely keeping to themselves at the moment. They're in this hermit mode, right? Um, but at the same time, they're very, very interested in what is going on with you. They're very curious as to what is going on with you. And it's like that curiosity, but then also having this tendency to keep their distance is proving to be a little bit challenging for them to cope with. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so that's some movement here. That's some movement, possibly trusting this path. Let's see. Let's clarify all of these energies. So starting with the moon and the queen of cups, because I feel like there's definitely emotions here. Um, but I feel like somebody is kind of repressing their emotions and that's what's making them emotional. All right, so moon and queen of cups, we have the six of cups. The Knight of Pentacles showing up again, and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely a connection where you feel a strong magneticism to each other. All right, not only that, I feel like because there's this distance between the two of you at the moment, there's a lot of nostalgia here. A lot of nostalgia. And what's interesting is that I do see there's somebody is moving towards this connection. I don't think it's you because I see you trying to open up a new path here for your own self, like accepting this loss, feeling like, okay, you know what, like that's it. Um, so I do see it being the other person here. There is this movement, it's just very, very slow.
these emotions, it's like, These emotions, they're very, very deeply rooted. Like, they're there. There's no way that they, that this person can rid themselves of these emotions. The nostalgia is there. The longing is there. Um, but I feel like this person is trying to keep those emotions at bay. And I feel like there's something that they're not seeing clearly in all of this, which hopefully will clear itself up as we go along. Um, because I do sense that this is the other person and not you, but we'll see. Could be you as well. Let's see the Five of Pentacles in your energy. The Nine of Swords and the King of Cups. Well, yeah, you're emotional as well. I feel like you're both feeling very emotional at the moment, actually. Um... There's a lot of stress here on your side. I don't, I, I feel like you're, again, it feels like you're dealing with it though. It feels with this King of Cups, yes, the emotions are there, but I feel like you, even though you, you're you really um, upset possibly, right, on some level about how this has been working out, you're trying really hard to find your emotional stability through all of this, but that that stress is there, that anxiety is there, that concern is there. You you don't like that that you feel like you, like you know what like this is it, you know it's a loss. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, five of Cups, Eight of Cups. You're doing the best you can to recover, to emotionally detach from this. The pain is still there. The grief is there. The, the loss is there. The feeling of loss is there. It's all there. Um, you are detaching though. You are moving, you are moving away from it, but I feel like it's just, it, it feels like it's just like this dark cloud hanging over you. Like, even though you're doing the best you can to move forward, and to take care of you to open up a new path. It's like this black cloud just follows you. That's what it's feeling like to you. Let me see this Ace of Pentacles. The Five of Swords and Judgment. Yeah, because you're feeling like it's it's being deceptive to your own self, basically, um, at least on some level, okay? And if, if you feel like this isn't you, it might not be your reading, <laughs> all right? Um, but for those of you that this does resonate for, I am getting that, yeah, you're doing the best you can to take care of you, you're doing what you feel like is the only thing that you can do and to open up this new path and to look in a new direction, but it feels like you're deceiving your own self and for some of you it might feel like you're deceiving this connection. Regardless of whether that's accurate or not, that's what it's feeling like to you. And I feel like you're having this realization. And for some of you this could be something that is coming up, right? Um, trying to move in that direction and then with this judgment it's like having this some kind of a wake-up call or some kind of a understanding that, you know, it's, it's like you just don't feel ready. You don't feel ready for this new path, which could even be involving, you know, another person or whatever, whatever, whatever this new path is for you. So I feel like you're moving in that direction, but maybe you're moving a little too fast. Um, at the moment, so then it's just gonna feel like, okay, you know what, slow down. I don't feel like this just doesn't resonate with me. And I mean, really the message here is that's okay. That's okay, you know, take your time. If you're feeling this Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Moon even, now I'm beginning to feel like this Moon is actually the both of you, it's not just this person. Um, that's okay. You you need time to process this and to go through the grieving phase that you need to go through before fully embarking on a new path. 
It's like, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Regardless, just... Yes, do take care of yourself. Do um, whatever it is that you can do to comfort your own self, right? But don't try to skip over any steps. It doesn't usually work out in our best favor. Um, all right. Let's see this page of swords for them. The Two of Swords and Temperance. All right, so Sagittarius <clears throat> showing up. So this person, yeah, they're holding back a lot, actually. They're holding back from making any kind of impulsive movements um, or actions. They're trying to be patient, basically, with their own self until they have figured out what it is that's going on with them. Because, like I said, I feel like that moon is, is for the both of you. So there's some confusion. There's these emotions. They're surfacing. It's... It's not very pleasant for either of you. So it feels like this person, they're very curious as to what is going on with you. Some of them might even be kind of researching, if they can, if you're on social media, for example, um, to see what's going on with you. But ultimately, though, they're trying to be patient in terms of um, taking bigger steps towards you. Let's see this hermit. the moon, and the two of cups. Yeah, their emotions are here for you. They have love in their hearts for this connection with you. I don't know what the situation is for each of you, but this person is I feel like they're researching is what they're doing. They're exploring and researching their own emotions. And a lot of these emotions have been repressed. I feel like this person was going against their intuition here with this Queen of Cups being in the challenge position. The connection though, I mean, and the, the emotions that they have, they're coming up to the surface. They cannot they cannot avoid this. So with the Page of Swords here and then the Hermit, this is a lot of exploring their own soul, like a lot of soul searching, especially um, concerning repressed emotions. Like this person is going really, really deep. And again, it feels like it's very unpleasant for them. It's very unpleasant, but hey, you know, they got to face the truth. And this is something that they have possibly been in denial about. Um up until very recently, or at least they were trying to. Let's see the Two of Pentacles. The Hermit showing up again, um, and the Nine of Wands. All right, so we have Virgo showing up twice, actually, and we also have Pisces showing up twice. So definitely let me know if you're dealing with either of those signs. Um, It's hard. I don't know the details here, but this soul searching and what this person is discovering about how they feel and about their own emotions, it's really difficult. Um, it's really difficult for them. They're doing it though. I, I feel like it's almost like they're being forced to. They're just having a little bit of a hard time coping with these emotions and coping with what they feel. This person is feeling alone. You're feeling alone. You're both feeling alone. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles for the potential outcome. Three of Pentacles, the world, and the lovers. All right, Gemini. 
also making an appearance here. Okay, so yeah, this, <laughs> the potential outcome is a lot more positive than the rest of this reading, which is a very, very good thing. It makes me very happy to see. Because um, I know right now it feels like it's very difficult for the both of you. So there is movement, as I said, there is movement. There's this sense of moving towards just trusting the path. And I feel like that's actually the message for you in this reading, Aquarius, is to trust the path. I'm not telling you to trust this person necessarily. I'm not telling you um, to wait for this person. I'm not saying anything of that sort. What I am saying is trust the path, that all of this is happening because it is ultimately going to lead you to this new path. It just might take a little bit more time than what you initially had hoped for because hey if you're not if you're not ready you're not ready if you feel like you know it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel right i do see some kind of interaction though with this person and i feel like we've got a very similar energy here at the end for um libra's reading as well i feel like there's this progression towards okay you know what there's an interaction there's some kind of um some kind of a relationship here, possibly friendship or work related. And then I, it's like there's this shift that's happening. Like all of this grief, all of this sadness, all of this confusion, all of this emotional, deep emotional energy, I feel like that is leading up to a huge lesson and that lesson is going to be closed out it's going to be completed with the world. And what does that do? That opens up the door to this lover's energy, right? Love coming in. So that's the direction that you are heading in. Just trust the path. Don't rush is what I keep getting here. Don't, there's no need to rush the process. Trust the path and trust the pace at which everything is moving. All right, Aquarius, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. And I feel like this is a message for you saying that love is going to come. Love is coming. It will be brought into the situation, all right, in time. Um, and when it's meant to, basically. So yeah, Aquarius, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.